Hi, uh, this video was uh, requested by someone I was out on the trail with at the weekend when we were talking about brushed and brushless motors. Irregardless of getting a brushed or a brushless motor, the most important factor to all of these motors is the ESC. So the Traxxas ESC, the, the XL5, that, that runs at a 1.7 kilohertz cycle. That means it's sending 1.7 thousand or oh, 1700 pulses to the motor every second. And the reason why they send pulses is if they just turned full on, you would fry the motor. And what they're doing is activating those electromagnets to make them continually turn. And the length of the pulse is determining the speed. Obviously, when you get to wide open throttle, it's, it's just going to send pulses that are so long that it may as well just be fully on. The Hobbywing 1080 can run up to 16,000 kilohertz, uh, well, 16 kilohertz or 16,000 hertz, which means it's got a much finer resolution. And actually a motor acts slightly like a, a low pass filter and smooths all of that out. But the, the higher the resolution on this, the smoother the control and the quicker the motor will be to react. But the downside of brushless, uh, of brushed motors is the feedback to the ESC. Now certain ESCs like the Charisma Arc 2 and I think some of the other high-end ones like the Holmes Hobbies ESCs, they, they look at some of the feedback that comes back um, from the motor in, in terms of how it's absorbed those pulses in order to do some clever kind of adaptive drag brake stuff. So with a 1080, you can set the drag brake to be less, but then you have less drag brake and you don't flip over so much. But if you set the drag brake quite high, you can flip the truck. The Arc 2 seems to sense that you've stalled the motor, which is what a drag brake is trying to do, and just lets the motor overrun slightly to just smooth out the drag brake, which means that you can go down a hill and when you come off the throttle you won't just suddenly flip you, you can come off the throttle and it'll sort of just come to a gentle stop which is also what the brushless systems can do now things like the castle mamba have a huge amount of adjustability but they do tend to drive a lot more like a brushed system they're very much letting the driver be in control with the axe it's got something called field orientated control which allows it to measure the magnetic fields and then add torque based on throttle input. So you can pull the trigger on an axe system and it will start going at what it thinks is the RPM that you've asked it to do. So it thinks you want 10,000 RPM, you're going to get 10,000 RPM. And if anything gets in the way of your crawler, the axe will feed in more torque and more torque and more torque until it gets to its maximum torque to try and keep that constant speed. And then when it gets past the thing that's stopping it, it will reduce the torque to stop the motor from speeding up. So with an axe system, there, there are certain times where I won't even be holding the throttle. I'll, I'll actually on my controller turn up the throttle trim so that it just starts rolling gently and the axe system will start pushing past all the bits that would stop a brushed system where you would have to add a bit more throttle just as the, the terrain changes. Whereas an axe will just keep a constant speed and you just focus on your steering and then tap the back, back just to pull that throttle back if, if you're doing the kind of cruise control thing that I do. That can be really useful. But you can also dial it down in the settings so that it's on the intermediate or low level. If you set it to low, or I'm not even sure if you can turn it off completely, it, it just kind of acts more like a brushed system. But if you spent the extra money, take advantage of it because it can be, it can be very interesting. And, and sometimes I fail to get up stuff because I forget I've got that option. And it can be quite nice to when you get stuck on something, just hold the throttle and just wait for the axe system to get the right amount of torque and it'll just pull itself over. Um, much to the annoyance of any of your friends that are using a brushed system and are having to pick the exact right amount of torque to get over something, 
you can just go over it. Might be cheating, but you know, I have a hard, stressful job and crawling is one of the things that I do to, to blow off steam and so I'm going to get the stuff that makes it fun rather than make everything a challenge. As for what I would recommend, if you're going to go brushed, definitely go for a Hobbywing 1080 or a Charisma Arc 2. They're much of a muchness. They're, they're both absolutely fantastic. Loads of people recommend the 1080. I would recommend the Arc 2 over the 1080 just because it does everything the 1080 can do just as well as the 1080, but then it has that drag break. The downside of the Arc 2, and the only downside of it, is you can't set your LiPo cutoff value. Um, but it seems to cut off at a reasonable, safe rate, so I'm not too bothered about that. Some people who like a high cutoff might find that they're a bit, sort of, checking the batteries a bit more. If you're going to go brushless, the, the Hobby Wings stuff is fantastic if you want that kind of auto RPM matching to throttle demand if if you want something that is pretty waterproof not too expensive and is is a huge step up in features not necessarily in driving experience and everything else but certainly in features the axe is fantastic if, if you want uh, something that's completely adjustable but only works on Android or Windows and you can't adjust it with your phone unless you pay an extra £30 for a Bluetooth module, whereas this comes with Bluetooth out of the box, go for, yeah, like a Castle Mamba or a Sidewinder 4 and get, you know, one of the home's hobbies motors. Well, if this has been any use to you, the, the usual things apply. Give me a thumbs up, ask any questions in the comments and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you.